Namaste. Today we are going to talk about homams. The first question is why is the homam one of the most finest spiritual technique evolved by our rishis and we can consider it as the top 10 uh, meditation technique in the world. Now many people think that homam is a ritual and it has not been connected to meditation. It is absolutely wrong. For example, somebody is doing a vipassana homam, a vipassana uh, meditation. They are sitting down and they are watching the breath. The amount of spiritual divine energy which will come from the divine vortex will be very very limited across but when a person sees clairvoyantly the amount of homam uh, energy which comes down into the antakarna is very huge now the question is what is the antakarna the antakarna is the spiritual cord which connects you to the god it is like an airtel server or a wire from the head the energy wire from the head which connects you into the spiritual realm now this is very small for normal people but for very advanced beings of light this is very very big and it is like a huge pillar of light it is there as a person so when you are doing homam it will not be it will have multi purpose the first purpose is your aura and chakra gets cleaned one of the cleaning mechanism in the world is using fire for example, you take gold and it is very dross. Now it is melted in the fire and then of course it is transformed. Water and fire has tremendous amount of purifying effect. So in a homam, the fire actually cleanses the chakras. Now for example, you have a way to see the subtle body. The subtle body has aura and the chakra. The aura and the chakra can be seen by using energy technique like Krillin photography or aura machine or like that. Now, when you are chanting and offering the fire ovulation into the, into the fire or what they call it as ahuti, when you do it across what happens is it tends to cleanse all the seven chakras the muladhara the swadhisthana the the the, the, the manipuraha anathaha vishuddhi agnya and the sagasar chakra tends to get purified very very fast that is why many people feel when the gross energy is leaving them they feel literally tired they feel literally exhausted after doing the homa now to come back to the normal after doing the homa it will take one one and a half hours period of time but you will be feeling a sense of freshness will be there after doing the homa though you are mentally little exhausted across so the first thing is now do not confuse saying the homam is not a meditation technique homam itself is a meditation technique it is one of the very very fast way to bring results into your aura and chakra from the brahman the vortex of divine light comes into your sahasa chakra and then it gets transformed into all the seven chakras and the aura expands the dross energy is transformed that is the power of the homa that is why i gave you the comparison right at the start 
द विपासना इफ यू डू द होम द अंतकर्णा ऑफकोर्स विल बिकम बिग बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग अ मेडिटेशन ऑन द डिवाइन लाइट एंड यू आर डूइंग द मेडिटेशन ऑन द ब्रेथ पार्ट ऑफ इट विच ओपन द अल्टीमेटली द एस्टल कनेक्शन अबाउट इट ऑल मेडिटेशन टेक्निक कैन ओपन द अंतकर्णा एंड द पोरिंग ऑफ द डिवाइन लाइट विल हैपन इन टू द सोल कॉट और वॉट वी कॉल इट एज द अंतकर्णा The problem with many people is they do not have a measuring circuit. Now you are you are doing money in stocks. You are doing money in house. You are doing you have a measurement called money meter. But in spiritual realm, it's only the feel good factor which is taken into account. So. therefore if you are clairvoyant if you are very psychic your third eye is open you are able to see the dimensional impact more than the gross body what happens is you will see the antakarna expanding very fast and the amount of divine light which is coming is very huge and the aura and the chakra spinning faster and also the aura and the chakra becoming big now that is the impact of the homam which probably in the time period for example somebody is doing half an hour homam somebody has to produce that impact in vipassana or some other visualization meditation technique which people teach about it will take more than 5 6 hours to do this particular thing so please understand this is the impact of the homam which is not normally seen by people because many people are not very clairvoyant the third eye is not open they are not able to see the subtle body so the impact the speed at which a fire ritual or a homa will produce the impact on the energy body and in the aura and chakra is so huge and so fast that it would probably require very less time than the normal one that is why they have homa for bhagavad gita they have homa for purusha sukta they have homa for almost everything in life so please understand that the homam is a very very powerful meditation technique invented by the great rishis i would still call it as one of the top techniques in the world itself of spirituality so the point is if you want growth if you want soul growth you want to clear your drossness of karma you want to be free of ignorance then the fire worship is one of the best way to produce spiritual evolution you would be able to generate spiritual currency now these days you have bitcoin you have ethereum all the thing like that your spiritual currency your value will go up when you do homa so many people don't know the physical and the energy component of the homa they know the physical component of the homa they feel tired exhausted little happy peaceful the first and the foremost important thing on the energy realm is what i talk to you where there is a huge amount of divine light which gets poured across the second aspect of the homa means it also clears the karma makes the aura and the chakra bigger the chakra spins faster in your subtle body now what are the other impact of the homa the first and the foremost thing is you stop thinking now many people find it very difficult to stop thinking when they do any kind of meditation activity but in the homa you will be able to stop thinking immediately or within few ahutis as you pour the ghee into the fire there is a tremendous amount of transformation in the mind level many people become calm their breathing increases it becomes what you call it as belly breathing 
they come into a zone their five senses become very strong they are able to hear a subtle sound they are able to their eyes get cleansed across and it's a kind of a transformative effect can be seen when you are doing the homa that is why the homa is considered as one of the most celebrated spiritual technique in the world which many people have not understood so the point is now do you want to do homa do you want to do what you call different kinds of homa do you want to learn about different kinds of homa then you connect went to this thing you will be able to get quality videos which are high in content now many people think spirituality means giving discourse and not talking about the technical aspect of life no spirituality can be talked about technical aspect because then only people will understand the subtleness the depth and the vastness of the hindu spirituality so please understand the homa cleanses your aura and chakra it forces you to think it opens your heart chakra you feel lot pleasant you are able to observe more prana from the atmosphere you also observe the divine light and there is a sense of peacefulness and calmness after you do the homa and your five senses get cleansed across you also feel happy and pleasant into your life across so that is the multi dimensional impact of the homa now many people when they do a homa if you ask my auntie i'll ask her why do you think we should go do home she says the smoke is very good it is like a, it has some ayurvedic impact because we burn many herbs now people have not developed the psychic sensitivity to see the energy dimension what i am talking but also the physical dimension part of it where the aura gets cleansed the chakra gets cleansed and the karma gets cleansed and you go into an another level so we will be talking about the homa and the homa aspects which will be very very helpful to you if you are a person who is very interested in about homa thank you